Have you checked the Hey everyone, welcome back to The Horror Show. I'm Cecil Laird, and I'm here to do a trailer reaction that might not be watched by very many people, just because not that many people are familiar with the subject matter, uh, or rather with the property. But something dropped today that I had no clue was coming, and I am so psyched about it, and it's only like a month away. So I wanted to share it with you guys. I haven't seen the trailer yet, but I did see that it has dropped, and that this has been announced, and that it is so close, and it is a Netflix property. And I'm very excited about it because this is something called Parasite the Grey. Now, this is essentially an offshoot. It's a new story based on the original story of Parasite, which was originally a manga, and then it became an anime in Parasite the Maxim, and then it became a two-part live-action Japanese film called Parasite, parts one and two. It's very faint artwork, but... Um, but yeah, so it is a really awesome horror anime idea, horror manga idea, that is now getting a brand new iteration in Parasite the Grey. So I'm going to watch the trailer rather than kind of explain uh, what it is, because maybe the trailer will explain it well enough, and I can kind of tell you the differences in what the trailer is showing versus what is normally shown. So um, this is Parasite the Grey. Let me pop up the poster right there for everyone and then i'll pop up my window here all right three two one go <laughs> yeah nice okay Nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the director of Train to Busan. Whoa. Hey, yo. All right. Show me something good. Ah, <laughs> nice. Yeah, this is why Parasite's awesome. Nice. Inganyu uh, neru chal le nunda. Dongjogi manna, mongga jum tarinde. Nice. Cool. All right. Based on parasite. All right. Cool. So that's, yeah, that's why Parasite is so awesome because the aliens that take over the humans, they basically turn each human into a John Carpenter's thing like creature that, and, and like they have like, like there's one that's good, right? The, so the original, this story here is about this kid that the bug tries to get inside him, but it, it can't get to his brain and it stays trapped in his hand and so his hand becomes sentient and it's able to like form blades and whip around and then any of the other parasites their heads split and again they form blades and they fight like whipping their tentacles back and forth i should just be playing this while i'm talking about it but yeah they just they whip their tentacles back and forth and have fights like and it's really freaking cool. <laughs> just like that um but yeah this looks really really cool uh now i did pull up on the on the imdb to read what it actually states here uh hang on so it is right here so the synopsis for this look at that ah oh, it's so cool the eyeballs are are hanging out there that's so dope let me freeze frame 
There we go. That's a good one. So yeah, their their heads completely split open and become like tentacles and everything functions independently. You can see here on the left and on the right there, the blades at the end, they become blades and they literally just slice through other humans and cause chaos and kill everyone. They're bad, like they're really bad aliens. But the this in this one, the dude that gets infected fights the bad aliens um, to try and keep everyone alive because his brain hasn't been taken over. And it it's really cool. It's a really great idea. Now, again, so to the synopsis of this one for the gray, it is a group of humans wage war against the rising evil of unidentified parasitic life forms that live off human hosts and strive to grow their power. Jung Su In, who is infected with a parasite on her hand and uh and start oh geez okay it's it's written kind of weird uh, who is infected with a parasite on her hand uh start a strange collaboration as it failed to seal her brain uh seal kang Wu, uh, excuse me seal kang Wu chases a parasitic water chases a parasitic water i'm reading it as it says chases a parasitic water to find his missing sister and Choi jun kyung is the team leader of the parasitic life team the gray and lives only <laughs> jesus and lives only to exter li excuse me and lives only to exterminate the parasitic water after losing her husband to the parasitic water wow so yeah decode that guys <laughs> but it sounds like one person's hand except this time it's a female instead of a, a male uh and she's gonna fight against the aliens again so it's a it's a similar take but it's a new take and it's not just like the woke version where it's now a girl instead of a guy um this is just more awesomeness to me i gotta be honest guys the parasite is so freaking cool i love this anime i've never read the manga i should give it a try but the anime is just so cool and creative i mean look at that that's so dope oh my god that's so cool it's so creative you know what i mean like there's there's very few horror things as cool and creative as like Japanese anime and manga <laughs> honestly so yeah that I mean look at the skin it's so fucking gross and awesome I love it I love this whole parasite universe so the fact that I'm getting a new story and it's live action and clearly they put money behind it because Netflix puts money behind it and it's not one of those things where it's like in a pre-established anime that Netflix is going to mess up like they have other ones um i just finished watching avatar uh, about you know two hours ago so i i enjoyed it i like netflix's uh, netflix's netflix's properties and this looks so cool i mean look at look at how awesome all that stuff is all the action that you get in this in this show it's very yeah there's lots of it and it's so cool but yeah i mean look at how amazing how cool how creative it all ends up being and yeah they they don't have like telepathic communication so there's sometimes that people try and get away with stuff that guy's got three eyes look at that's okay so she yeah so it's not just her hand apparently apparently some of her can shift so i'm very curious about this i don't even know it doesn't even really specify if it's a movie or a tv series but i think it's a movie so that's i mean again all that all that awesomeness is why I think everyone, look at that. That's some unique shit right there. I mean, it's so cool. Some people might not like the CG. I don't have a problem with the CG. How else are you going to do stuff like this? Like, get over it. Suspension of disbelief, you know what I mean? And it just, it's so creative. It's so cool. And I'm very, very excited about this new iteration of Parasite the Grey. So, or this new iteration of Parasite in the Grey. So guys, let me know in the comments down below. What do you think about this? Are you interested in this at all? Uh, the, the Parasite Maxim TV series, just if you're curious, let me look it up here on Just Watch. If you guys don't know how to find particular things, I, I always check Just Watch as to where they're streaming. So Parasite, the Maxim. Currently, it looks like you can watch it on Hulu and Crunchyroll and the Disney Disney Hulu thing and uh, High Dive High Dive as well it looks like you can purchase it on Amazon uh, but it's streaming on Hulu so if you have Hulu check out the original Parasite anime it's only 22 or 20 
uh, I guess it's 24 episodes. Um, but that's it. And then there's the movie. And the movie's only streaming on Vudu. So you'd have to pay to watch the... You'd have to pay to watch this. But um, I, I wanted to buy it because I just... I absolutely love this. This is one of my favorite horror animes. And I'm so fucking excited about this. In case you guys couldn't tell. So let me know in the comments down below. Are you excited about this? Does this intrigue you? Does this make it... Uh, it does it engage with you? Do you want to watch it? I'd be very curious to know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you to all of our patrons for supporting the channel the way that you do. Uh, Fuego, myself, and possibly Robert as well are planning to see Imaginary uh, tomorrow. As I record this, tomorrow is Thursday. And then we're going to turn our review around as quickly as we can. I'm very excited about Imaginary. Um, I was hoping to see it when I saw Lisa Frankenstein, but it was a Lisa Frankenstein screening instead. So I'm really excited about Imaginary. Um, but yeah, for now, that is my trailer reaction. Thank you guys very much for watching. I've been Cecil Laird, and remember, stay scared.